1. Belvoid. Running a hotel in the middle of contested Virginia during the Civil War certainly had its advantages, as Belvoid, aka Cleopatra of the Secession knew well. As a girl, she began working fervently to defend the South, using her charm to coax secrets out of a smitten Union soldier stationed near the hotel and then delivering them to Confederate officials. She often used one of her slaves, Eliza Hopewell, to pass along messages. Arrested and subsequently freed for her actions, she eventually traveled around the country sharing her stories of espionage. Elizabeth Van Lu. After attending a Quaker school and becoming an ardent abolitionist, Elizabeth Van Lu insisted on freeing the slaves her family owned. When the Civil War broke out she found another way to help the cause, by founding a spiring that included several strategically placed officials in her own town of Richmond and beyond. By volunteering to bring food and other essentials to Union soldiers held in a Confederate prison, she was able to obtain and deliver valuable information on behalf of the North. Ulysses S. Grant himself cited her contribution to the war effort. Three, Josephine Baker. Well loved, especially by the French, as a performer, Josephine Baker was a famously beautiful singer and dancer out of St. Louis. In fact, her fame and beauty were apparently so dazzling that the Nazis allowed her passage during World War II without thinking to check her sheet music, upon which French resistance secrets were written out in invisible ink. After breaking down countless barriers for African American women both at home and abroad, she was also an important figure in the U.S. Civil Rights Movement. Baker lived out the rest of her days as a beloved celebrity in France. 4. Christina Skarbek After the Nazi invasion of her native Poland, Christina Skarbek volunteered for British Special Operations. Soon, under the new name Christine Granville, she put her unique skill set. She was an excellent skier. To good use by transporting information back and forth from Poland to Hungary through the mountains. She managed to escape capture at one point by feigning illness. Another high point of her spying career came when she freed an operative by waltzing into a prison and claiming to be the niece of an important military figure. Oh, and she may have been the original Bond girl. That's right, James Bond author Ian Fleming is said to have based several of his film fatals. That's where Lyndon Casino Royale and Tatiana Romanova in From Russia, with love, specifically, on Skarbik. 5. Matahari Born in the Netherlands with the decidedly less dramatic name Marguerite Gertrude she answered an ad in the paper seeking a wife, married an older man and moved to Indonesia. An unhappy marriage and a fascination with local culture led her to become a performer and remake herself into Mata Hari. Upon returning to Europe, she became a sensation in Paris, with her exotic dancing, risque costumes and frankly sexual demeanor. During World War I she was accused of spying for the Germans, arrested and executed by firing squad in 1917. She claimed she was in fact spying for the French, but neither allegation was ever definitively proved. Her death only enhanced her allure, and after another international beauty, Greta Garbo, portrayed her in the 1931 movie Mata Hari, she became an enduring fixture in the popular imagination. Six. Nancy Wake Nancy Wake grew up in Australia and then traveled as a teenager to New York and Europe, where she worked as a reporter. Using her status as a journalist to gain passage, she passed along information to the French resistance. After joining Special Ops, 
She established a spy network so successful that she became one of the Gestapo's most sought-after targets, nicknamed the White Mouse for her elusiveness. Wake was particularly alluring and terrifying. She killed men with her bare hands. She was honored by numerous nations after the war. Seven, Noor Nayat Khan. This Russian-born beauty of Indian and American descent served as a radio operator in the French resistance during World War II. At the beginning of the war, she entered the Women's Auxiliary Air Force and later Special Operations. When her communication headquarters were raided by the Nazis, she initially avoided detection but was later betrayed and interrogated. She never revealed any sensitive information, and despite extreme odds managed to escape her captors several times before finally being shackled and transferred to Dachau, where she was killed at age 30. 8. Stephanie von Hohenlo Stephanie von Hohenlo was an Austrian princess and a go-between for the Nazi regime and high-placed sympathizers. As a close confidant, she was often called upon to offer her advice and services to Hitler. Oh, and she was Jewish. A fact Hitler apparently knew. After following a lover to the US, she was considered so dangerous by the government that she was detained until the end of World War II. To top off her life of espionage, she apparently was instrumental in creating the definitive personality profile of Hitler for the Office of Strategic Services, the precursor to the CIA. 9. Virginia Hall Educated at Harvard and Columbia, Virginia Hall desperately wanted to join the Foreign Service. A dream that seemed to come to an end when she shot her own leg, which then had to be partly amputated, on a hunting expedition. But her prosthesis and the accompanying limp didn't stop her from signing up first for the British Special Ops and later for the US Office of Strategic Services. Eventually she was among the Nazis most wanted. Not only did she discover and pass along important military information, but she also trained numerous resistance fighters on the ground. She later joined the CIA. 10. Anna Chapman Russian businesswoman lady, she was born in 1982, he arrived in Britain in 2003 and chaired the real estate company in Britain in 2006 and married and divorced him after a while. And moved Chapman to the United States in 2010, opened the site is not officially on the internet for rental houses, at this time she met a person named Raymond, dual intelligence agent works, and the host of them to work with them, and they delivery fake passports to Russian illegal immigrants. Chapman was arrested on charges of espionage along with nine others in the June 27, 2010, and recognized the work to calculate the spy network belonging to the Russian intelligence, returned to the to Russia on July 8 in the framework of the exchange of spies deal, is the largest of its kind since the end of the Cold War.